In ancient Egypt, people noticed that as their sun god Ra rose every morning, the lotus flowers started to bloom. And as the sun set at night, the lotus started to close. Hence, the flower of lotus became a significant part of Egyptian culture, symbolizing rebirth and the promise of an everlasting life. Lotus is a flower of immemorial significance across several ancient cultures. In Hinduism, many gods and goddesses have been portrayed on lotus flowers. In yogic traditions, a lotus highlights an individual's potential to harness energy flow through chakras. In Buddhism, a lotus represents purity of body, speech and mind. In fact, not so long ago, a temple which became a world heritage site cost $10 million of spending and 18 months of construction just to make it acquire the shape of a lotus. There are over 400,000 species of flower, but why is it that the lotus receives so much of attention in so many different cultures across the globe? You see, the lotus has a very special property, which is often referred to as the lotus effect. In tropical rainforests, Plants rely heavily on rain to survive. But the same rain may cause problems as wet leaves tend to gather mold, causing many leaves to die off as the mold blocks away all the sunlight. But there's one leaf that just never gets wet. I'm talking about a lotus leaf. According to the principle of contact angle, if the contact angle when water reaches a surface is zero or less than 90 degrees, the surface is hydrophilic. Hydro for water and philic means loving. So these surfaces have a high affinity towards water. If a surface has a contact angle of 90 degrees or greater, it is hydrophobic. Hydro for water and phobic for fearing. And these surfaces have a tendency to repel water. And if the angle exceeds 150 degrees or more, the surface is considered super hydrophobic. The surface of a lotus leaf is super hydrophobic, meaning that it absolutely hates water. And if you look closely on a microscopic level, the surface of a lotus leaf is covered with small bumps. These bumps are made up of a layer of wax. This forces incoming water molecules to form a sphere and perch on the tip of the bumps water slides easily off the lotus leaf because there is less friction due to the small surface area contact. Furthermore, the sliding water droplets carries away dirt particles, giving the lotus leaf a self-cleansing property. Because of this property, a lotus leaf is often clean and dry despite being found in one of the most polluted waterways, often devoid of life. Dr. Wilhelm Barthlot discovered this effect and his insights have helped develop many surfaces within technical industries, most notably in the form of self-cleansing paints. This lotus effect inspired paint prevents buildings from soiling and provides a natural protection against fungus and algae, whilst regulating moisture and preventing the need to weatherproof certain infrastructure. All of which was inspired by the properties of this mesmerizing spiritual flower. If you found this video interesting and for more such nature related content, consider subscribing to the channel and I will see you in the next video.